First, what is injection molding? Injection molding is a manufacturing process that produces identical parts by injecting molten plastic into a mold. In injection molding, polymer granules are first melted and then injected under pressure into a mold, where the liquid plastic cools and solidifies. The versatility of injection molding allows you to produce high volumes of parts at a lower piece part price and faster than other processes like CNC machining and 3D printing. You can also choose over 25,000 injection molding materials and scale your products into thousands or even millions. Almost every plastic part around you was manufactured using injection molding, from car parts to electronic enclosures and kitchen appliances. Using injection molding comes with a lot of benefits. It's faster and more cost efficient for plastic parts, especially if you're producing many units. Injection molded parts are strong and durable and the process allows for tight tolerances and outstanding repeatability. Your parts also come out looking amazing. The main economic restriction is the high initial cost for tooling. Design engineers have to create a custom mold for each geometry, making the initial investment cost pretty expensive. To design and manufacture the mold costs between $5,000 and $100,000, for this reason, injection molding is economically viable for production larger than 500 units. Once the mold is created, any design changes can get costly, and modifications require a new mold to be created from scratch. This adds to lead times and overall costs. Finally, the typical turnaround for injection molding is between 6 and 10 weeks, 4 to 6 weeks to manufacture the mold, and 2 to 4 weeks for production and shipping. Here at Hubs, it takes around 50 days depending on the complexity of the mold. When should you consider using injection molding for your projects? For projects that require large annual volume productions, that involve complex design and shapes, project that needs part consideration or metal to plastic conversion, or where the surface finish is a major factor. Also, projects that involve materials that would be too expensive with other manufacturing processes. Or finally, in case the design is likely to stay the same or only change in smaller increments over several years. Now, let's take a look at the injection molding machine. In this video, you can see what an injection molding machine looks like. It's a relatively long machine when comparing it to a square CNC milling machine or 3D printer. This has everything to do with how the machine produces plastic molds. Here, you can see a cross-section of the inside of an injection molding machine. Generally speaking, the injection molding machine consists of three main parts, an injection unit, a clamping unit, and the mold. The purpose of the injection unit is to melt the solid plastic granules and guide the liquefied plastic into the mold. The purpose of the clamping unit is to control the mold by keeping it in place and opening it up at the right times. Let's take a closer look at the injection unit first. It roughly consists of a hopper, a barrel, the reciprocating screw, heaters, and a nozzle. The clamping unit roughly consists of a fixed platen, a movable platen, the mold, a runner system, a cooling system, and ejector pins. The simplest mold is a straight pull mold. It consists of two halves, the cavity, which is the front side, and the core, which is the back side. In most cases, straight pull molds are preferred as they are simple to design and manufacture. If more complex geometries are required, then a retractable side action cores or other inserts are required. Side action cores are moving elements that enter the mold from the top or the bottom and are used to manufacture parts with overhangs, for example, a cavity or a hole. Now that we have looked at the different elements of an injection molding machine, let's have a look at how all of these work together. First, the polymer granules are placed in the hopper where they are mixed with the coloring pigment or other reinforcing additives. The granules are then fed into the barrel where they are simultaneously heated, mixed and moved towards the mold by a reciprocating screw. The geometry of the screw and the barrel are optimized to help build up the pressure to correct levels and melt the material. The screw then moves forwards and the melted plastic is injected into the mold through the runner system. The mold is then cooled by a cooling system. As the material cools down, it re-solidifies and takes the shape of the mold. Finally, the mold opens and the now solid part is pushed out by the ejector pins. The mold then closes and the process repeats. 
The whole process can be repeated very fast. The cycle takes approximately 30 to 90 seconds depending on the size of the part. After the part is ejected, it is dispensed on a conveyor belt or in a holding container. Usually, injection molded parts are ready to use right away and require little to no post-processing.